Nadia, part one. We can't do it without jelly, right? No, we can't. Your mom worked hard making the jelly. You saw how upset she was about forgetting it. We didn't have a farewell party when I was going to the army. I really don't want you to go. Nadia, please don't even start. We've decided everything, okay? No, it was you who decided. Yeah, that's right. This is because I think about our future. Oh, oh, oh come on. This year will pass without you even noticing. After that, we'll have a separate flat, perhaps a car. It'll be great, believe me, okay? Nadia, everything's going to be all right. Nadia, you look as if you're going to bury me. Come on. Alesha, just bite your tongue. I'm a little worried about you. Why couldn't you find a normal job? Well, look, you know that I tried to, but we can't live normally for the money that they pay here. And I simply just want the best for you, all right? Alesha, you are the best for me. Oh, God. Perhaps you shouldn't have agreed to that contract. I won't survive it if something happens to you. Nadia, look. I'm not going to the war, you know? This, th this is the same as the army, but they pay for it. Alesha, I don't get it. Why do you want to go to the army so much? Sure, you didn't find a job here, but you could find it in the city. Oh, no, please, Anya. You're not right. You see, service has always been men's work. <laughs> oh, sure. For those who didn't play enough with toy soldiers in childhood. I'm going to earn money, not to play games. Just don't forget to write. You can't forget your money. <sighs> Mom, please. How would I forget you, huh? Of course I'm gonna write. Moreover, I'll be back soon. And you're not gonna be alone here either. Well, of course, I'll be visiting you often. Thank you, dear Nadia, thank you. Mm. Nadia, bring us your cake. Nadia has made her signature cake for us. Oh, oh it's delicious. <laughs> Finger licking good. Nadia always makes everything tasty. You eat, eat, eat. Come on, eat. Nadia, I wanted to ask you something. Will you marry me when I come back home? Lesha. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Does anyone want more mushrooms? No? I'll take them away then. What about chicken? No, it's enough. Uh, Thank you. Enough? I'm taking it too. <laughs> oh, right. Sure, we're going to eat the cake. Since you're throwing the farewell party here, watch the table and the guests and stop making out in the corner. Your stepmother always finds something to pick at. That's all right, though. Just wait for another year, all right? And when I come back, Alesha. we're gonna leave. Nadia, where are you wandering? Come on. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't hang your head down, smile. A year. I can't imagine how am I going to be without you again. I thought we would never part when you came back from the army, and now... <sighs> this year's gonna pass in the blink of an eye. Just visit my mother, would you? Listen to me, she's gonna be all alone without you there, okay? Yes, definitely. <sighs> Nadia, why are you seeing me off as if it's the last time? Look, you're crying right now. Stop it. All right, then. Never mind. It's fine. These... These are just women's things. Take care of yourself. I love you so much.
Grinding away at your books, aren't you? Yes, I decided to revise it before the seminar. Have you done the homework? Mm-hmm. I didn't have time to. I went to the cinema with Igor. Can I copy yours? Sure, you're not going to pass a single exam like this. Oh, why would I need these studies? I'm going to marry Igor and stay at home. Let my husband earn money, like your Alesha does. Yeah, if I could turn back the time myself, I wouldn't have let Lesha go for anything. Happiness is not about money. <laughs> oh, hello, girls. Good afternoon. All right, Shura. When are you going to hand in your reference paper? Soon. I already finished it. Yeah, we were just going to the library. I promised her to help. Nadia, I certainly do believe that you are going to the library. You're an able and responsible girl. I think you're going to become a good teacher. But Shura should be trying. She should be trying very hard, very hard. That's it, I'm irresponsible and I'm not gonna become anything. Shura, don't worry about it. Are you offended? Nadia, stop this crying, come on. Alesha didn't go to war, you know. I know, Grandpa, but it's, hmm. it's so strange being without him. Huh. It's all right. There's no reason for grieving. You had better graduate and find a job soon. You shouldn't say so, Anna. Nadia helps you with everything. As for you, granddaughter, don't be sad. This time will pass quickly. It may seem like a long time, but Alicia will be back in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Auntie Tanya. Yeah? Hello, Auntie Tanya. Oh, Nadia. <laughs> Hello, my dear girl. And I was going to the post office. Don't you have a letter for me? Of course, yes. Yes, I have it. Sure I do. Why wouldn't I have it? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, ah, let's see. Uh, ah, here it is. Take it. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Good luck, my dear. <laughs> All right, my dears, lecture six, preschool age, three to seven years. It's worth noting that preschool age is a very great portion of life for a baby. Even Yesterday was our commander's birthday. We even had a cake. <laughs> Not as tasty the as the is, ones you make, of child, course, but we're very happy to have even this. So I'm all right, but I miss you very much. Anyway, time will fly fast. I'll get back soon and we'll get married. You got another note from Alesha? Mm-hmm. How does your hero like his service? He says that everything is all right, although he misses me. And I am missing him here, too. You're here, too, Nadia. You waited for him to return, and now you're waiting again. I wouldn't have enough tolerance. Well, you wait when you love someone. Oh, I see now. One of you would take love in a cottage, while the other would grab a rifle and go defend his motherland. But you should know how to live, Nadia. Igor's going to get a one-room flat now, and his father will find him a very good job. You know, it takes skill to choose a good future family. Take but note. But I wasn't choosing a family. Poverty, neglect, I love Alasha very much. Well There's no point talking to you. <gasps> All my lessons are in vain, Nadia. You need to live so, for yourself in the first place. When are you going to understand that? Mm -mm. That's definitely not about me. What kind of an uncle are you? You haven't seen your own nephew for a month. 
Look, I really miss Vanka very much. Mm. But Kira, I will drop by the following weekend. I promise you that. I mean, truth be told, I haven't visited you in a really long time. And Vanka is growing up by the second. <laughs> I can So if that. you keep on coming so rarely, you might just not recognize him one day when you return. Oh, Nadia, hello. Hello. Here, let me help you. <laughs> Why are you busting your Oh, hands? thank you. Hello. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> Girls shouldn't carry such heavy things. Well, I just can't run to the shop. Every time I need something, I have to buy everything. Uh, look, Nadia, um... Uh, what are you doing on Sunday? Thing is, I have uh, two tickets to the cinema. Starring, uh, what's his name? Uh, well, uh, anyway, they say it's a very good movie. It's worth watching. Would you accompany me? Going alone is, well, not so great. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't do it on Sunday. I promised Alesha I'd see his mother. Why don't you take your sister? Uh, well, come on, Nadia. I have a little child. I cannot do it. It's a pity. All right, next time, perhaps. Uh, let's go, it's cold. <laughs> That Nikolai is so disgusting. Whom do you mean? Nikolai, our neighbor? Well, he seems like a nice guy. Just how is that old creep nice? He started hitting on Nadia as soon as Alesha left. <laughs> well, if he's old, then I should have been in the grave for a long time already. But, Grandpa, that isn't what I meant. Well, anyway, it's... It's not nice to offend a nice man. Oh, you. Kolya's a hard worker and a kind man. Have you seen the houses he builds with his crew? And he helps all the neighbors. You shouldn't be bad-mouthing him. You really shouldn't, Petya. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <sighs> well, good luck. Bye. Okay, bye. What are you hoping for, brother? What do you mean? I'm talking about Nadia. She has a groom and your age gap. Look here, I didn't ask for your advice. Whatever. I just don't want you to suffer in the end. What do you know about it, huh? All right, let's pretend I didn't say anything. I have some really fresh produce. Here's enough for the whole week. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you found yourself a helper. Yes, I was lucky. I met Nikolai. He helped me carry all that. Mm-hmm. Nikolai, right? After Alesha went away, Nikolai started seeing you randomly all the time. <laughs> what a coincidence. Auntie Tanya. Huh? Hello, do you have a letter for me? Nadia, just please don't be scared, okay? I went to Marina Arkadievna in the morning. She received a letter. From Alesha? No, no, not from Alesha, from the unit. Uh, perhaps something really bad happened there. You know, she became very pale, pale. <gasps> Nadia, Nadia, hold on! Nadia! Marina, tell me what happened. Auntie Tanya said you got a letter. What happened to Alesha? This is from the unit. From his unit. The... the column. They were under... the fire and... Alesha's missing. How? Alesha. Where did you go? You didn't tell me anything. Where did you go? Listen to me, Marina. Perhaps it's just a mistake. I, I want to go to my son. Marina, it's okay. <gasps> Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Alesha, 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 where are you? Alesha, where are you? Marina. Oh, God. Alesha, where are you? Marina, it's okay. No, Hello, ambulance. Alesha.
What happened to her? Nervous breakdown. She'll feel better after the injection. She'll calm down. Actually, Marina Arkadyevna needs to undergo an examination in neurology and get some treatment. Lady, would you like a tranquilizer too? I can see that you're all nervous. No, there's no need. All right, as you wish. Uh, come to visit Marina as often as you can. She shouldn't be left alone now. Hmm? Sure thing. Goodbye. Nadia, where have you been for so long, huh? You ran away for a minute and disappeared for half a day. <laughs> Nadia, what has happened? It's Alesha. They wrote to us from the unit. He went missing. Oh, no. <laughs> How come? How come? <laughs> <Her grandpa. laughs> Well, you know, missing means dead. Where would he go? Would he evaporate or something? Anna, what are you saying? Why upset the girl? Can't you see that she's not like herself at all? I'm saying what I'm thinking. So what? Everyone's so sensitive. I can't say a word. Oh, you should have stayed silent. And and now there's his poor mother, Marina. I, I called an ambulance. She had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Oh, what a m misfortune. Nadia, look, don't, don't torture yourself. You better... I'll lie down. Yeah, go, go lie down. Get some sleep. It will calm your, calm your nerves down. He wanted to be an army guy. So what? No one's actually safe there. He's a fool. What else is to be said? Go. It works now. Look how clear that image is. <laughs> I'm pretty good, aren't I? Oh, thank you, Nikolai. <laughs> God help you, my boy. I was going to throw it away. I couldn't see a damn thing through those ripples. Oh, come on, don't throw it. It'll serve you for another hundred years. Uh, all right, then. Uh, sit down, Nikolai. H have some tea. Mm. Here you go. Take the buns. Don't be shy, all I'm right? I'm not shy. Oh, go. Did uh, Nadia make them? Oh, no way. She barely leaves her room now. It's almost as if she were dead. She makes my heart hurt so bad. Hello, Nikolai. Hello, hello. Oh, Nadia, we, we were just talking about you. Were you? Yes. Look, Nikolai has repaired the TV set. Really? That's great. Uh, Thank you. Nadia. Have some tea with us, will you? Oh, no, Grandpa. I don't want to. Oh, come on. How's that? Look at yourself, my dear. You're all pale. Come on. Grandpa, please, don't start you up again, You can't be please. like this. Nadia, you should take a walk and breathe some fresh air. Uh, that's right. Let's take a walk. Yeah. Nikolai will accompany you, right, Nikolai? No, really. Why don't we take a walk? You breathe in some fresh air. All right, let's go. I'll go change. Nadia. No, really, why are you looking so low all of the time? Are you going to keep mourning? Why should I be mourning? Alesha's missing, not dead. Well, that's the thing. You need to... You need to keep... 
living? Hello. Why torture yourself? Hello. I am living. Is it life? In your four walls? You need to think about your future. Graduate the university. Find a job, and then and then you'll get married, perhaps. No, I won't now. Don't rush in. Look at yourself. You're beautiful and clever. I think Alesha would be very glad if you were uh, finally happy. Well, how are you doing here? Oh, I'm fine. All right. All right. Do you need some help with cleaning? Oh, thank you, Nadia. Thank you. I wanted to clean it myself, too, but I just couldn't find the time. You know what? I'll go make some soup. Otherwise, I'll have nothing ready when Alesha comes. Right. I've started forgetting things. I'm so distracted. Still no news about Alesha? No. You know, Shura, sometimes I get some pretty terrible thoughts. If I knew for sure that he was dead, at least it would have been better. This suspense is worse than death itself. Right. How's Marina Arkadievna? Better? Mm-mm. I wish, though. She keeps crying. She has started forgetting things. Sometimes she does something and then she forgets it in five minutes. That's so terrible. On the other hand, it's still better than burying your own son. All right. Good morning. The hope of the Russian pedagogy. The theme of our today's lecture 12 is understanding. Actually, it's time you thought about yourself. You could be waiting for the answer to whether Alesha is alive or dead until your pension, and oh, life will pass in a blink of an eye. Who promoted democratic ideas? What are you saying? I'm saying that you need to forget Alesha and move on. You're beautiful and smart. Just nod, and your grooms will be standing in line. No, sure, I can't do it. And I don't want to. If the teacher does not understand, the student does not feel him, then the result of his pedagogical activities is often misunderstood. We never have any money left by the end of the month. Nadia, when are you going to find a job? You're so grown up now, but you're still the same. I wish your late father could see that. You were always nagging at him anyway. What? What did you say, girl? Anna, she needs to study. Let her graduate, and then she... Yeah, that's just wonderful. What about me? Do I have to provide for you for the rest of my life? This is not why I married your dear and precious son, Valentin Semenovich. You know, I'm just so sick of your complaints. If it weren't for our dad, you wouldn't have a place to live. Oh, you ungrateful bastard. All these years, I've been raising you like my own child. Oh, na Nadia. Grandpa? Oh, Grandpa, kiss. what's wrong? I'm not feeling well. Oh, hush, 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 hush. Oh, Nadia. Hush. Petya, bring the med kit now. Grandpa? Why are you standing still? Call the ambulance. Grandpa, Grandpa, what's, what's going on? Grandpa?
Where am I? What happened to me? It's all right. You're in the hospital. What hospital? What happened, please? Tell me what happened. Your column got under fire. You were brought here in severe condition with no documents. We don't even know your name. <sighs> Alesha. Alexei Smirnov. Where are the other guys, huh? What happened to them? Why aren't you saying anything? You're the only survivor. Don't get up. You can't do it. My legs. Why can't I move them? Why can't I? Just don't worry. It's very important for you to stay calm now. What do you mean calm? What happened to my legs? Why can't I move them, please? They are paralyzed now. You just start dealing with those bureaucrats. I went to the district center. You know how it is here. A person is dead, but to register something, you need to go through a million instances. They throw you from one office to another. Nothing is clear. They can't say anything useful. That's because no one knows anything, and you have to wait before each office. <sighs> Nadia, mm. sit down. Get some rest. You're tired. You've been up all day long. No, no, it's all right. I need to put some more salad out. I've made pancakes, too. Grandpa loved pancakes very much. <laughs> Let's toast to Semenovich. He was a good man. Let's get to the yeah, table. It's all right. Yeah, what can we say? Valentin Semenovich had a good life, as they say. No one's going to live forever, so why should we be sad? Tell me, how are you feeling today? You're refusing to eat again. That's not good. You need to gain strength. Why? Sitting in the wheelchair doesn't take a lot of strength, right? And what is it? Are you giving up without even trying to fight? You know what I'm thinking? Tell me the number of your unit and phone number of your friends and relatives. I'll call them and they'll come. What do you think of that? Perhaps it'll cheer you up, huh? How can you not understand? I just don't want anybody to see me like this. I'm a living corpse. I'm good for nothing. I'm just a waste of space. You're declaring yourself dead too early. You're a soldier. And you gave up without fighting, you could say. All right. I guess you can call my mom.
Marina Arkadievna. Oh, my poor Marina. What happened? Why? Why is your door open? Alesha. Alesha, son, is that you? Alesha? Oh, God, where are you? I've been waiting so long, so long, so long, so long, so long. <sighs> Hold on. Here, take this. Drink it. Who are you? How did you get in here? Alesha! Alesha! How did you get in here? Who are you? Where is my son? Marina Arkadievna, Where is my take... son, Alesha? Tell me, where are you hiding him? Tell me now, where is my son? Where? Where is my son? Where is my son? Where? <laughs> What happened to her? Uh, a severe nervous breakdown. Um, uh, apparently, she has been under some kind of stress. Yes, her son is missing. Uh, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, goodbye. Oh, you're cleaning up? Well, that's all right. Nadia, I've been grumbling at you my whole life. I'm not mean. It's just my character. Believe me, I'm sorry. Not offended. You know, I've been thinking, you're a grown-up now. You have your own life. And I'll fix mine, perhaps. I won't be nursing you until pension, right? Let's separate the flat, all right? I don't know. Do as you wish. I don't care. Well, if you don't care, I can just do it. You just have to sign the power of attorney. Sure, all right. I mean, we're not much of a family, right? It's only a word. Why would we live together? We'll only be getting on each other's nerves. Sign it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here. Where? Here. Is that all? Yes. Thank you. Well, alrighty then. You've got an appetite now. That's a good sign. Are you sleeping better now? I keep having the same dream over and over again. And everything seems so real and lively, and I don't even know when to wake up, to be honest with you. What do you see? I see that I can walk. I walk down the road, and Nadia, my bride, she's... she's running to meet me. Perhaps I should tell her that you're here? I can't get through to your mother. If there was a close person around, then no maybe... Need. I mean, why would she need a cripple? <laughs> well, if she loves you... Then what? Is she gonna pity me? Is she gonna just take care of some disabled man? Don't you understand? I don't want her living like that. I can't have that. And I don't need it. Oh. Where are you taking it? The mistress said to throw it away. The mistress? Anna! Anna! And take this garbage out, too. All right. Take it where? What take is it going out. on? Take it away. Anna, what is going on here? I'm changing the interior. It's all so old. It's high time I threw everything away. Why? But we've... We've always lived like this. That's right. Always. It's time to change at least something in this life. I don't know. There's no need to throw it away, though. I'd take this furniture with me when we change the flat. Nadia, my dear, you are so naive. <laughs> Do you really think I would change a spacious flat for some kennel, huh? Well, I don't understand anything at all, then. Why take out the furniture? 
Because I'm actually taking care of my life, my dear, and I suggest you do the same. You should get married, Nadia, and move to your husband's, and take your brother, too. Otherwise, he's going to an orphanage. I don't need dependents here. Actually, if you don't remember, we own this place as much as you do, so we aren't going anywhere. Oh, really? <laughs> Hold on. Here, look. What is this? This here is your renunciation of inheritance. And this is the right of ownership for the apartment. Signed by you, dear. Who is now specified as the owner? So, you're no one here, my love. Nobody. No one. Look, guys, the orphanage boy is coming. Orphanage boy. Uh, Spending your last days of studying here. Meaning? Well, meaning orphans have their own school. Are you nuts? What are you saying? Well, my dad said that your mom was already collecting documents to send you away. <laughs> She's not my mother. It does not change anything. You will have no mother at all in the orphanage. You're even going to miss this one. Screw you! I'm going to rent a flat and find a job. Sure, the salary may not be high at first, but after some time... Oh, it's really like a kindergarten. Do you even understand what responsibility is? I'll be able is? to, I promise you. I know it. It makes no difference whatsoever whether I believe you or not. This school is guided by legislation. We can't leave a child with a lonely girl with absolutely no place to live and proper earnings. Please, I'm begging you. There's no need to beg me. I'm telling you loud and clear. The law is the law. I simply can't help you. And you're actually distracting me from my work. I've already paid too much attention to you. We have no maids here. Who's going to clean up all your mess? <laughs> Can you not distract me? That's a playoff. What the hell are you doing? Turn on the TV. What is this? Put your things away, I said. As a matter of fact, you can actually start packing your stuff. You're not going to stay here for long. No, I'm not going to be going anywhere. Who's giving you the option, love? You're going to go there nicely. I hate you so much. Petya! Petya, wait! Petya! Petya, where are you going? Why is she giving orders? She's not my mother, she's no one to me. You know that she only needs a reason to scream at you. Never mind her, come on! <sighs> she told me to pack my things. They're saying in school that she'll send me to an orphanage. It's not true, is it? No, it won't happen. I promise you it won't. Nadia. And this one's here in an instant. Feel like he's spying on you. I'd better go. What's wrong with him? He had a really bad fight with Anna. She wants to send him to the orphanage. To the orphanage? Yeah, just like that. She's gained ownership of the flat. She's kicking me out and sending him to the orphanage. I went to the office and I tried to register custody, but they refused. They said I had no job and no place to live. And I'm also lonely. Uh, Nadia. Nadia, wait, we'll think of something. I, I promise you we will. What could you think of here? Well, what if you were married and, and had a place to, to live? Come on, what if? We're not in a fairy tale. Who would keep us from being in this fairy tale? 
Nadia, why don't you marry me? What are you talking about? Well, it would be easier to register custody for a married woman with a place to live. Don't rush with the answer. Think about it. Now let's go to the operating theater. Equipment is not as good as you have in Moscow, of course. But we also have something to be proud of, you know. It's not always about the machinery. Equipment's only half of the success. People decide the rest. That's right. Here is our operating theater. Excuse me, you're from Moscow, right? You see, we have a patient who can't walk. Perhaps there's hope. Could you take a look at him? I'm begging you. Dean, I've told you, the boy has no chances. And don't get in the way of other people's work. Here you go, this way. your things, Petya. They're here to take you. Go on, get going. I'm not going anywhere. No one is asking for your consent, my dear. You promised that you'd wait. Hmm. Oh, my dear. I'm not going to wait forever. You'd better help your brother pack up his things. Nadia, you promised. Actually, Petya. you can take only the most necessary things now. You'll bring the rest of it later. You'll also make sure that the conditions are proper for the boy. Conditions? What conditions? In the orphanage? I know Petya, it. Petya, don't worry. I'll take you. I promise. I promise, Petya. You promised already. <sighs> then. It's all settled. Why are you looking at me? Don't worry, he'll be all right. He's sharp. At least they'll show him some manners. Granddad nursed him too much. By the way, dear Nadia, you should go and pack your things. Time to leave the flat now. What? what? What happened, though? Tell me, were you serious when you offered me to marry you? Uh, that's not something to joke about. Nadia, I love you. And I will do absolutely anything to make you happy. Nikolai, you need to understand. You're very good. You're really nice, and I'll always be grateful to you for everything you're doing. But Alesha, I love him. Even though he's not around. I understand, I understand. Everything. doing there? What's the point of it all, huh? There's no... There's no need to maintain my life artificially. But you can't do it. What am I supposed to do then? Do I have to be happy to be disabled? Or how am I supposed to just react? I don't need the life of a man chained to a bed. I don't need it, do you hear me? Hi, Dina. As I understand, this is the patient that you wanted me to look at earlier? Yes. He can't feel his legs after the injury. Our doctors are saying that this case is inoperable. But I think perhaps there's a chance. Could they possibly help him in Moscow? Mm, yeah. I can't guarantee anything, though. First, we'll perform a complete examination. And then we will be able to make any final conclusions.
How are you? As good as it gets. Petya, wait for a while. I'll get married soon, and then I'll be able to take custody. Married? Has Alesha come back? No, actually, I agreed to marry Nikolai. Who, Nadia? What, Nikolai? Are you crazy? No, why say that? Actually, I think I'm very reasonable. This is the only way I can get you out. Nadia, I don't need such sacrifice. I don't want you to suffer because of me. What makes you think I'm going to suffer? Nikolai is a kind man, and he loves me. Petya, we're going to be all right, really. Okay? Well, what do I see here? Results of the examination are very reassuring. Do you think I'll be able to walk someday, sir? Well, it'd be too early to say something during this stage, but there is a chance, and we need to take complete advantage of it. What do we need to do? The operation's not going to be easy, and we can't perform it here. We just won't have enough resources. We need transportation to Moscow. I'll arrange everything if you want me to. Of course, Doctor. I'd agree to anything, sir. All right, then. I'll go ahead and arrange for your transfer. I'm coming with you. Dina, there's no need. You've already done a whole lot for me. And it won't make it even more bitter to stop halfway. I want to see you walk one day. Oh, wonderful. Here's some chicken. <sighs> it's sad Grandpa couldn't live to be here. All right, brother. Congratulations. You got what you wanted. Just be happy with your bride. Is that so hard? Oh, I'm going to be happy. Believe me. God help you. All right. Pour it now, please. Hmm. I hear the champagne telling me something. What is it? Kiss now. Kiss now. Yeah. Kiss now. Kiss now, 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 kiss now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow! Cheers. Kids, what is our sun missing? The sun rays! The sun rays! Let's make them. Take the yellow Play Doh. Yeah, yeah. Does yeah. everyone have it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Have you made it? Uh -huh. Let me have a look. Oh, what a wonderful sun you've got. Like this. Good job. What a good girl. Oh, your son is so unusual. It's both yellow and orange. It's so pleasant to see you get along well with children. I've been working for so many years and I still can't do it like you do. They really love you so much. This is because I love them too. I guess they can feel it. You gotta get your own kids. You'll make a wonderful teacher. My husband and I decided that I should get my diploma first. And then we'll think about children. But you'll get your diploma very soon, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, everyone. Has everyone made the sun? Has everyone yeah, managed yeah, it? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 yeah? yeah. All right, let's make clouds now. Yes. Well, judging by the results of the examination, the situation is generally good. The dynamics are positive. And I'm feeling better too, sir. Well, let's have a look here. Do 
Do you feel anything? I do, but not too and much. like this? Well, there won't be much now, and after a while, the sensitivity will be back in full. Now, your complete recovery largely depends on you. You cannot be lazy. It's up to you. Keep on training your body. Of course, Doctor. I'm ready for intensive training, sir. <laughs> Hello, Dina. Uh, uh, you are lucky. You're lucky to have such care. It's very important during the recovery period as well. This is all due to you, Andrei Yurovich. And thank you for helping me find a job here. Well, it's not my merit. Good nurses are needed. Everywhere. <laughs> Get well soon. Thank you. All right. Shall we practice? <laughs> Shura, please wait. Shura, where are you running to? Hello. Hello. All right, what happened? Oh, nothing really. I just fell down from the ladder. I was so clumsy, I'm laughing at myself. Oh, come on. Couldn't you think of something better? Where is the black eye from? <sighs> I got into a fight with Igor. Did he hit you like that? What a damn bastard. Nadia, but it wasn't on purpose. Mm -hmm. he, he just got carried away. It was an accident. Are you making excuses for him now? No. It just happened like that. I... I got worked up and told him a lot, so he lost it on me. Sure, he had no right to hit you in any way. Nadia, I felt so sick that I... wanted to leave him in that instant. Why didn't you? Where to, huh? I can't go home to my parents. That would be even worse. They'll nag me to death. So I'll just have to live with it. Oh, sure. Vanetka, do you like this car? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's a wonderful present, really. Do you like it? Mm. Yeah. Is that good? I'm good. Vanetka, would you like a sweet? No, because they make my teeth hurt. <laughs> he's such a smart boy. <laughs> yeah, he's taken after Kira. She used to be very clever too once. Very clever indeed. Used to be. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Here, let me help you there. All right, what is this part right here? Headlamps. Headlamps. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Don't rush in. No, I need to move quickly, okay? <laughs> I'm doing it, you know? Dina, I'm, I'm doing it. I don't even doubt it. Soon you're going to run. You'll see. <laughs> hey, Dina, thank you so much for everything. Alesha hasn't been here in a long time. It's so strange. I get it. He's busy. Tell him that it's not good to forget his own mother. Marina Arkadyevna. And tell him that... Tell him that I miss him. Tell him to come visit me every week. Come together next time. I'll cook something. I'll cook something tasty for you both. Yes, of course. I'll tell him. I have to go or I'll be late for my studies. Who are you? Have a good day. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alesha, now that's progress. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so well. And you didn't want to live two years ago. You said that nothing would work. You see, you should never give up. <laughs> it wouldn't have worked without you. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to help. Hello, Nadia. How are you doing with your husband? Yes, we're fine. You're fine too, as I can see. I'm doing wonderfully. I'm happier than ever before. And who's here? Hello, my love. <laughs> who's there? Hello, hello. Yeah, give me the bag. Mm. <laughs> Nadia's doing so fine, and she's not losing it. Her groom went missing, but she found another one with an apartment. Anna. Just forget all about Nadia. You have your own life. And she has hers. Hmm? Right. And I love this life very much, dear. <laughs> Boris, I'm so, so lucky to have met you. And I'm even luckier. Nadia. 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 Well, how are you today? I'm wonderful. I'm feeling a rush of energy. <laughs> Dina. Yesterday. Look, I lost my head for a moment, okay? Please forgive me for that. You don't need to apologize. You see, we've made a grave mistake. I don't want to lie to you, Dina. But what I'm feeling for you is... Just gratitude. I appreciate everything that you've done for me, you know? But you just don't love me. for you. I think you were the one to help me. If it weren't for you, would I be in Moscow? Would I be able to find such a great job? I'm the one who should be grateful. Well, that's some wholesale groceries there. Mm-hmm. Three-course meal for your beloved husband? Why are you being sarcastic? When was the last time that you cooked, uh, at mm. least fried eggs? You know that these domestic chores are not for me. Look. 
It's so mm. beautiful. Igor gave it to me. Mm, and what's the occasion? Reconciliation. Did you have another fight? Sure, tell me, did he hit you? Nadia, just calm down. No one has hit me. It was just a family brawl. Your life is filled with nothing but brawls and fights. You need to start doing something better than that. You could find a job, perhaps. Then you won't have time for brawls. Igor doesn't want me to work right now. What about you? What is it that you want to do? I'm actually all right with it. Are you sure? Or are you just pandering Igor? He's not going to appreciate it. Hey there, Auntie Tonya. Oh, dear Alesha, is that you? That's me, Auntie Tonya. Oh, you're alive, my boy, and we thought that... Alesha, where have you been for so long? I was in the hospital, recovering after an injury. Yeah, you look so thin. Auntie Tonya, do you know where my mom is? I've been home, but there's nobody there. Oh, Alesha. When Marina Arkadyevna, your mother, found out you were missing, she fell ill. She has a lot of problems with her head. She's getting treatment in the hospital. Nadia comes to visit her from time to time. How's Nadia doing? Well, she's doing fine. She now leads a normal life. She's working with children in a kindergarten class. Does she live there alone? Uh, Alesha, Nadia is now married to Nikolai. Well, well. Are you here for me? Where is my son? Where is he? He barely comes home. He's wandering somewhere far. M Mom, it's me, Alesha. I came back for you. I promise I'm gonna take you home, you hear me, Mom? I'm going to take you home and we'll be together. I'm going to take you home. I promise you, Mommy, okay? All right, everyone's gone. All right. All right, come here, you. Sit down here. Let's go play. Let's go. I'll get you. 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 Come on. Why didn't you inform us? That way we could all calm down. We thought you were dead. I asked them to tell mom, but. Yeah. Perhaps they told her, but she doesn't remember anything. She doesn't recognize anyone. Whenever I visit, she thinks that I'm a nurse. Yeah, she doesn't remember me either. I don't understand why you couldn't call me, or at least write. <sighs> Nadia, listen, my legs failed after the injury. I thought I'd be disabled forever. Even more so. You needed help and care. I wouldn't have left you, and you know that. Yes, I do. This is why I didn't tell you. How... How could I make you carry such a burden like that? Plus, I didn't want any pity either. And you're married. What of that? I am. Are you happy? Seriously. Why on earth does that even matter? It matters if... All right, Alesha, there is no if. Nikolai has done quite a lot for me, and I cannot betray him. Yeah, I say no. 
So what are you suggesting? Forget everything? Start living a new life? I mean, I still love you, you know? Lasha, if there is love, then there is life. Alesha? Really? Are you alive? As you can say, what's up? I know. Wow. I, I can't believe my eyes. So does Nadia know you've returned? Yeah, I visited her kindergarten class. So you already know that she's married. You better tell me how you're doing, though, man. It's all right. Nothing in particular, like everybody else. Is Nikolai getting along with you? He's trying to teach me everything, but I'm resisting. I just need to wait a little longer. I'll graduate and leave. How's Nadia doing? Nadia is a real tin soldier. She pretends that she's happy with everything. Hold on, why did she marry him then? I don't get it. Out of despair, of course. When Grandpa died, that witch kicked us out of the house. I was taken to the orphanage. So she had to get married. So wait, what are you saying to me? I'm saying that she's unhappy. Nadia loved you and you disappeared. Why didn't you say you were alive? Where have you been these two years? Nadia, listen. It's uh, Vanetchka's uh, birthday soon. What are we gonna give him? I wanted to ask you for your advice. <clears throat> I've seen a railroad in the kids' shop with four cars. I think he'd really like them. They have slides and a, and a gate arm. What do you think? Huh? Oh, what? Are you feeling all right? <sighs> you look pale. I feel very dizzy. I'd better lie down, I suppose. Would you like some water? Uh, no, thank you. You know, Mom, I don't believe that Nadia stopped loving me. The stupid gratitude is not letting her leave Nikolai at all. Yeah. Alesha left. He didn't say when he would be back. No, Mom, I haven't left him. I'm right here. It's time for Marina Arkadyevna to take her meds. Tell me, do you see any progress with her treatment? She still doesn't recognize me. She thought that you were dead for two years. She needs time to understand it's not true. Please be patient with her, okay? Uh, try to visit her more often. Sit with her and just stay by her side. Marina Arkadyevna has all the chances of surviving. Yeah, Nadia, I can't imagine how you're holding up. This is such a twist. Just like in a movie. Yeah, but this movie happens to have a sad ending. That's not a must. The ending depends on you, friend. On the choice you make. Do I really have a choice? Of course, yes. You were the one who said that love is the most important thing in the world. Sure, uh, everything changes. I can't just leave Cole, yeah? He has been so nice to me, and we live quite fine, I guess. You guess, well, that's right. Oh, Nadia, what kind of life is that? It seems that happiness is right here. Just reach out. 
No, Shura. I just cannot reach my happiness anymore. Nadia. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. I want to talk to you. I think we've already told each other everything. Hold on a sec. Look, I know about your grandpa. And I know about the orphanage. So what? It doesn't matter now. Look, you need to understand we can change everything. If you want it, if you love me, we can start anew, all Lesha, right? Lesha, it's impossible now. Look, it's impossible to live with another man only because you're grateful to him. No, oh, what a surprise here. <laughs> You turn out to be safe and sound. As you can see, yeah. What are you doing here? I came to see Nadia, man. Well, have you seen her? Now, how about you get lost? Don't even set foot around here again. Nikolai, what is what? it? What? Let's go home. Some kind of fool. You know, I almost believed that you really wanted to create a real family with me, but as soon as your Alessia appeared, all of a sudden you forgot all about your husband, didn't you? Nikolai, what are you talking about? There's nothing between us. Ah, uh, do you think that I'm blind? Do you think that I didn't see how you looked into each other's eyes now? Nikolai, what are you talking about? The fact that Alessia came back doesn't change anything between us. He has his own life and we have ours. Please, don't torture yourself or me for this. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Hello, Alasha. I need you to leave, please. Hello. Nadia, listen. I need you now. Hello. Look, I understand it's my fault. I should have told you about me. I... I just didn't want to ruin your life, okay? So do not ruin it now, then. Hello. Oh. Huh, looks like we're having a banquet then. I'm toasting to my wife. She's very clever. She's beautiful and loyal, above all things. Nikolai, I thought we had sorted it out already. Yeah, sure we did. Sorted it out. I saw you. That place, the kindergarten, with Alesha. I saw how you looked into each other's eyes. This is why you wanted to wait with the baby, is that right? Listen, let's talk about it when you're sober, okay? <sighs> I don't need talks, you understand? What I need is your respect. Is that clear? I'm such a joke. Alesha, there's some man outside who wants to see you. What does he need? How would I know, man? Step out and ask him. You're the last person I expected to see here. And you won't see me again. Me or Nadia. So stay away from her, is that clear? She's my wife, and I don't want you to hang around here. Are you afraid she's gonna leave? I warned you now, so you'll both pay for it if it doesn't stop. Are you gonna hold her by force, man? <laughs> oh, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, you guys push it up! Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on! No, 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 no,
Calm down. All Stop right. acting stupid. Stop. Stop. Calm down. Come on, hero. No, there's no need. There's nothing here, Kira. It's as if you were a boy. You start fighting right away. Well, that Wes has to has to learn how to stay away from uh, other people's families. Nikolai, you knew it from the start that she didn't love you. I knew that, but I thought uh, I thought she'll get to love me one day. That's what I thought. Well, you can't force love. Look, just let her go. Just let her go to Alicia. <laughs> Don't you dare say that ever again, you hear me? I will never let her go, and that's that. Pour me some vodka, have it there in the freezer, and top it off. Hello, Mom. Look what I brought you, huh? Kiwi. It's got a lot of vitamin C. Bananas. Apples. And Antonovka, your favorite. You've messed it up again. Alesha, I love Belly Nalif. <laughs> what did you just say, Mom? I don't like Antonovka. It's too sour. <laughs> Oh, son. Son, why are you so thin? <gasps> you know, I had such a terrible dream today. I thought you were gone. That's terrible. Mom, it was just a dream, okay? But leave me, I'm right here. Why are you alone? Where's Nadia? <laughs> Nadia has a different life now, Mom. No time. Well, Nadia's doing great. She studies and works at the same time. Right? Anyway, let her come, son. I miss her. So when is your wedding? Huh? <laughs> well, uh, Nadia's already married. Oh, young folks. <laughs> Just look at you. If you live together without <laughs> registration, <laughs> you're not married. Let Nadia come. I've prepared the pie recipe <laughs> for her. All right, Mom, I'll tell her, okay? I'll oh, tell my her, Mom. son. I'll tell my son. Alesha, <laughs> what is this? Tell me what this is. Have you been in a fight again? Again? <laughs> I've told you so many times not to fight. <laughs> Hello? Alesha, please do not follow me, let alone wait for me near the house. Nikolai is already thinking God knows what. I went to visit my mother, and she recognized me. She asked why you haven't come to see her. Yeah, I'll visit her, sure. Nadia, we need to go to my mom together. She still thinks that we're getting married soon. I haven't told her yet. She only started coming to her senses. Listen to me, I'm afraid that it's gonna upset her. Okay, please come with me. Alesha, I don't know. I already have problems at home because we see each other. If Nikolai finds out- He won't. We'll just visit my mom, Nadia. Come on, will you please? This isn't for me, all right? It's for her. All right. Let's go. Hey, Mom, look who's here for you. Oh, Nadia, <laughs> my dear girl, how are you? Oh. I'm sorry that I haven't visited you in a while. No, honey, I'm not mad. Oh, my <laughs> dear, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please sit down, dear. Thank you. Oh, Nadia. I've already told Alesha. And now I'm telling you, I want to nurse my grandchildren. And you're still waiting. Why are you postponing your wedding, Nadia? Take care of it right now. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, 
Hello, neighbor. Hello there. Tell me, why is your Nadia fooling around with her ex-men? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I'm saying that she lost her shame and all. I saw them in the afternoon. They were going somewhere together. I don't care, of course, but you should keep a close eye on your wife. Walk you, okay? No, there's no need. I'll go alone. Listen, you need to tell your mom about us. What's going on is not very good. I know, I've tried. Lesha, please don't try to meet me anymore. Nadia. No, if you love me, let me go. I'm begging you. Nikolai, are you drinking again? Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm waiting for my wife to finally come back from her date with her ex-boyfriend there. That's oh, why. Oh, don't start it again. Don't you dare shut me up, okay? You're just playing the part of a saint. But you're cheating on me behind my back, and I know it. You can't tell me otherwise. I'm not cheating on you. Oh, really? That's not what people are saying. I don't know what people are saying. Get sober, and then we will- ah! Ah! Don't you touch her! <gasps> Petya, how is he? There's no heartbeat. <laughs> All right. So tell me what happened step by step. My husband and I had a fight. We had a fight, and he was drunk and attacked me. I got scared and pushed him. He fell down and hit his head on the table. That's not true. It was me. I pushed him. No, don't listen to him. Hold on. Why don't we continue? I heard them fighting. I went out into the hall, and Nikolai hit my sister. I was just defending her, and he began fighting. I wasn't gonna kill him, I just wanted to protect my sister. You know, I couldn't just stand aside and watch him hit her. I didn't even have time to think about it. No, don't believe him. Everything was exactly as I described it. I Please came home- Please stop defending me, all right? Just calm down. Just calm down. Listen, we'll look into it as we go along. Petya, would you like something, some tea to calm down? I don't want tea. I don't want anything, Nadia. I've killed a man, okay? Do you understand? You're behaving as if nothing changed. But everything's changed, Nadia. Your brother is a killer. Petya, don't say that. It was just an accident, okay? You were afraid and wanted to protect me. Petya, this is not your fault. I'm the only one to blame. Petya. I was trying really hard to get the job done, but I couldn't. It was just too much. 
I could use some help. Oh, excuse me. But as I oh, was Kira, saying, accept my condolences, please. I'm sorry about Nikolai. He was just so very young. Thank you. It's all because of Nadia. I'm sure of it. What are you talking about? I mean, she is just an ungrateful bitch. Nikolai did everything for her, and that's what she did to him. I don't understand. But what did she do to him? Oh, come on. Nadia was fooling around with Alesha. I saw it. Nikolai was very upset. He was jealous, of course. And this is how it all turned out. What is she doing here? It's all her fault. Nikolai died because of her. What have I done to deserve this? Let her leave. Tell her to leave right now. Kira, Kira. Nadia, I'm sorry. You know, it's hard. No, it's all right. I really should go. Why are you attacking her? She was his wife. She has the right to be here. Wife? If there were no wedding, Nikolai would have been alive. Listen, I understand that it's hard, but don't lose it. You know that it was an accident. And it was Petya who pushed Nikolai. Nadia has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? They're birds of a feather. They both will pay me. For absolutely everything. I'm begging you to punish the guilty. I'm sure that it was not an accident. My brother was murdered. You see, being sure, it's not enough. We need... We need the evidence. But that's absolutely clear. Petya and Nadia, they both benefit from his death. You see, they wanted to take his apartment. Mm -hmm. And there's another thing. I knew my brother very well. He was incredibly kind. He wouldn't have hit a fly, let alone his wife. And he loved Nadia very much. Do you understand? Hello. Hello there. Do you mind if we come in? Yes, yeah, sure. Come in, please. Uh, we're looking for a Petya Krylov. Is he here? Yes. Do you have some new questions then? Come in. You are suspected of murdering Nikolai Maximov, according to Article 105, Part 1 of the Civil Code of the Russian Federation. Here's a warrant for your arrest. Take a look. Hold on. Why are you arresting him? I told you, he didn't kill Nadezda, anyone at all. Alexeyevna. He was just protecting me. Nadezda, it's natural that you're trying to defend your brother. However... We have no evidence to your version at the moment. So my words aren't enough for you then? No, I'm afraid. Don't worry. We'll invite you to testify anyway. And as for you, Petya, you, you will have to go with us. Where are you taking him? To the temporary detention facility for juvenile offenders. That's where we're taking your brother and where he's going to be. 